in many ways, so many of us are Winston. We're alone in our real life, searching for like-minded individuals. And many of us, the only place that we can find those individuals are on the internet. They trapped us inside the telescreen, leaving us not even with that little corner to find some kind of privacy. The internet was created by military. Anything that is created by military or they fund private individuals to create it, you can guarantee that our military has a back door into this technology. Many people leave comments saying, go to this search engine, they don't track you. I, I don't believe that there is any place on the internet that is not tracking all of us. They created this, they put it out for us. They gave us the internet to play with for what, 15 years, 20 years? They did it to collect information about every individual walking on the planet. That is why Microsoft has this huge monopoly. 90% of users are on PCs. 90% of people who access the internet are accessing it with a PC created by one company Microsoft, we don't own our computers. We know that Microsoft can do whatever the hell they want to our computers without our consent. We pay a lot of money for our computer, but we don't own them. Uh, and I think there's about 10% that use Macs. And Macs might be a little bit more secure but even Macs are being tracked because that was the purpose of this telescreen that you're all looking at to view this video. That was the purpose. So people would say, go to Tor. It's encrypted. Government, they can't track you on Tor. I didn't believe it. Certainly not when we all know that there are backdoors into our computers. And we all know that this technology has been created by militaries. Do you think any military would create or fund to be created any kind of software, any kind of technology that they couldn't get into? All those who believe that they can come up with this fabulous encryption techies out there, it will be broken through in a relatively short period of time. All of those individuals with good intentions putting up these sites, DTube, Steemit, uh, Minds.com, there's no censorship there. These sites will be infiltrated and taken over. There is no place to hide. The Tor Project, a private nonprofit known as the NSA proof gateway to the dark web, turns out to be almost 100% funded by the US government. The Tor Browser, launched in 2001, utilizes so called onion routing technology developed by the US Navy in 1998 to provide anonymity over computer networks. Do you think it didn't provide for themselves? a backdoor into Tor browsers? That's kind of childlike, naive thinking. Sorry, there is no place to hide. They trapped us inside the telescreen. This came out in a recent blog post posted by an investigative journalist. He having obtained roughly 2,500 pages of correspondence between uh, via FOIA requests, and the documents included strategy, cro uh, contract, budgets, and status. I'm sorry for the noise. It seems every single time I am posting a video, I, I don't understand that I have these cars coming by that are so loud. Very frustrating, but I'm not doing this again.
The documents include strategy, contract, budgets, and status updates between the TOR project and its primary source of funding, the CIA, a CIA spin-off known as the Broadcasting Board of Governors, which oversees America's foreign broadcasting operations like Radio Free Asia and Radio Free Europe. By following the money, I discovered that TOR was not grassroots. I was able to show that despite its indie radical cred and claims to help its users protect themselves from government surveillance, TOR was almost 100% funded by three U.S. national security agencies, the Navy, the State Department, and the Broadcasting Board of Governors. Following the money revealed TOR was not a grassroots outfit, but a military contractor with its own government contractor number. In other words, it was and is a privatized extension of the very same government that it claimed to be fighting. No, there's no place to hide here. The documents conclusively show that TOR is not independent at all. It was, uh, or TOR was also required to file detailed monthly status reports that gave the U.S. government a clear picture of what TOR employees were developing, where they went, and who they saw. And our U.S. government has all of the information on everybody using TOR. TOR's ability to shield users from government spying may be nothing more than hot air. Back doors exist everywhere, guys. We live inside the telescreen. We are living 1984 on steroids.